Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. So COD Mobile a few hours ago released a really small in-game update which contains files for a new lucky draw that's supposed to be coming tomorrow. However, this same update actually contains some secret changes to quite a few weapons for both multiplayer and battle royale. For example, uh, there's changes to the Cordae, there's changes to snipers. There's also changes to the chopper, LMG, and as well as the QQ9, which I'm going to be talking about in a bit. So what has changed, you might ask? Well, according to Murder Blast and from some testing I did, basically they increased the base recoil and increased the ADS speed. So if you recall um, in season 8 and when the, when the gun was actually released, it actually had the fastest ADS speed in the game. However, when this season 9 update dropped, I tested that out the base version of the gun with no attachments and i felt that the gun it was a bit slower than normal and also the there was this it had this kick in season eight the first few shots the first like 10 15 shots always really went up vertically but after the season i bit i noticed that that vertical kick was just not there anymore and i really wondered why it, it, it felt much easier to control but with this recent patch, I believe everything has been restored to the way it was before the patch. But I think that when it comes to the recoil part, they actually increased the recoil more than it was before um, Season 9 update. So that's really, really interesting. However, that's actually not all because from my testing, I also noticed quite some differences in damage range. So prior to this patch, you could deal 25 damage up to 10 meters however right now from 6 meters that base damage drops from 25 to 23 at just 6 meters and by 10 meters your damage is just 22 so basically anything beyond 5 meters might require like a 5 or 6 shots to kill depending on where you hit because now even when you hit the hands or the legs the damage is even going to be less it's like 18 or 19 i can't remember exactly so this is greatly going to affect the way the gun performs in close close quarters combat so in order not to waste too much of your time i'm just going to show you my new class setup and explain briefly some of the changes i made so as you can see now, this is the new class setup I have for the QQ9. And in fact, this is the class setup I'm using in the video you're watching in the background of this commentary. So as you can see, there are quite a few significant changes compared to my previous class setup. The reason being that the QQ9 has more recoil than it used to before this patch. And to help reduce that recoil, I introduced the muzzle brake attachment which basically reduces your horizontal recoil by 10% and your vertical recoil by 4%. I also have the 10 millimeter uh, magazine attachment. Now the reason for this is simply because it gives you that extra damage at longer ranges which currently the QQ9 is lacking after this patch. So for example at 20 meters with a 10 mm you deal 20 damage to the chest and 22 to the head whereas without the 10mm attachment you will deal 17 damage to the chest and 18 damage to the head so that said having the 10mm is definitely going to help your time to kill as it can really really reduce the amount of shots you need to take before you can take out your enemy now because we're using the 10mm attachment, you have just 30 bullets per magazine and you spawn with about 120 bullets, I believe, which, well, this is the QQ9, it shoots really fast and you're going to run out of ammo quite quickly. So to help with that, I recommend you use the Vulture perk so you don't run out of ammo too often and then the Agile perk to maximize your speed and reaction time. Now the other attachments I used in this class are by the Merc 4 grip, the tactical laser and the stippled grip tape. 
and the Mac full grip reduces your vertical recoil by 7% and as well as um, improves your hip fire accuracy by 26.5% however the downside to this attachment is that it adds one frame to your ADS time basically just approximately one frame I also have the tack laser which redu which reduces your ADS time by 33 milliseconds and improves your bullet spread accuracy the, the stipple grip tape reduces your ADS time by 16 milliseconds as well as reduces your sprint to fire time by about the same amount so that will be all for this video I would encourage you to try out this class setup in your free time and uh, leave in the comment section below some remarks about this class setup and what you think about it. So uh, with that, I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of the video. You can like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace. Contact with enemy. Down. Reloading, cover me.